Hello and welcome to Hexed Encountered. My name is Joe. Today we're going to be playing Legends of Boxing from Stone Mountain Press. And uh, there are a couple reasons why I've decided to do a video on this game. For one thing, I haven't played a sports game in a while. Uh, probably a month or so since I've done my last video, which was on Dead Ball. And so I felt it was time to do another sports game here. And also, uh, former heavyweight boxer Ernie Shavers passed away earlier this week. And I thought it would be a good opportunity to show this game as well as uh, kind of paying homage to Ernie Shavers and his career. He, uh, he had a few title shots. He fought Ali once and he fought Larry Holmes twice. Uh, he lost all three times, but he was known as a really hard hitter. Um, very powerful. He, uh, there's a famous, uh, famous video available on YouTube actually, where you can see him get, where you can see him deck Larry Holmes, uh, in their fight in 1979, um, with a nasty shot, um, which Holmes later said that it was the hardest he had ever been hit. And don't forget Larry Holmes actually fought Mike Tyson when Tyson was in his prime. So saying that that's the hardest he'd ever been hit is probably saying something. So um, I'm not going to do a whole lot of preliminary on this game. It's a it's a good game. It's very straightforward, uh, not overly complex. So I will kind of try to explain a little bit as we go along. I need to fill out the uh, the scorecard here. Now uh, I have the print and play version. So when you buy it, when you buy the actual printed version, you get five dice and they're colored. I don't have colored dice, but I do have. You need two 20-sided dice, and I have one that's black and one that's kind of this grayish color. So I will use the gray color as my red corner and the black as the blue corner. And red, co red corner is going to be Larry Holmes. We're going to do that fight, um, one of the two Holmes Shavers fights. So we're going to have Larry Holmes. He'll be in the red corner. And Ernie Shavers, he will be in the blue corner. And we're just going to run through this game and see how things go. So first things first, I need to fill out my score sheet here. So um, that's pretty straightforward in this game. I just need to basically enter their names in here. So we have Larry Holmes and Ernie Shavers. Okay, so both heavyweights. Obviously, two um, relatively famous heavyweights, particularly Larry Holmes, obviously, who was a uh, heavyweight champion for quite a while. Now, the first thing I need to do is figure out their um, style for the first for the first round, how we start. <clears throat> so I'm going to roll the two 20-sided dice. Again, the, the bigger gray one will be Larry Holmes, and the smaller black one will be Ernie Shavers. So we rolled a two for... Holmes, and if we look at Holmes' card here, if we look at his card, you can see down here, this is the style. He's going to fight elusive to start with. And alternately, Shavers, he rolled a 16, and a 16 is in the pressure. So we have these cards here, and we're looking for elusive and pressure. So here's elusive, here's elusive, and here's pressure. And this is going to basically determine how the fight is scored, things that happen in the fight. Um, you roll for control, and that lets you kind of uh, determine, and then you determine what happened. So that's pretty much how things go. We work uh, 20 seconds per sequence. Obviously, it's boxing. There are three minutes per round. Uh, we will do, say, 12 rounds. Um, play it by ear. I could take it 15 if it goes that far. I'm not sure that it will. But uh, we're going to uh, give this a give this a whirl here. All right. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to roll three dice. We'll roll. Um, actually, I'll just roll all five. So basically, the five dice you get, you get two ten-sided dice, which are needed for the one hundred number, the zero to one hundred number, that, or zero one to zero zero which will determine what happens when you have a punch that is scored or defended. And we'll talk about that in a second. The, the, the six-sider actually determines whether it is a scoring punch or a defended punch. And then the 20-siders determine who has control. 
So the other thing you need to do is here on this chart here, we have a matchup chart where you look at the control numbers. So Holmes type is T, which is tactician. Essentially, um, he's a boxer, you know, more than a slugger. And then Shavers being a slugger, he's a P. So um, you look at their control numbers. So his control against a P, Holmes control against a P is a 10. Shavers control against a T is a seven. So we look red corner 10, blue corner seven, we have eight and 11. So Holmes will get control with a roll of eight or higher. Shavers gets control with a roll of 11 or higher. And then based on who's above it, if, if both are above it, the, the one that's most above it gets control. Um, in case of a tie, you go to this uh, split action chart, which is over here. And if neither guy uh, rolls over their number, you would also go to the split action chart. So it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to roll all my dice at once here. And so our our 100 number is 67, but we don't need to worry about that yet. So Holmes rolled a 13 and Shavers rolled a 7. So Holmes has control. So then we look at the defense number and it's a 5. Now the defense rating for Shavers is a 1 and for Holmes, it's a three, and you need to be un at or under that number. So Shavers does not defend this punch. Therefore, we look at the 67 on Holmes' elusive chart, and it's a one-point lunging hook. So we would give, we'll give him, uh, we start at the 240, and he gets one point for the red. And we move on to the next the next roll and that's just how you keep doing it you just do this over and over again right so this time our um, 10 sider gives us uh, 36 with a 5 but again Shavers is a 4 Holmes is a 17 so Holmes is going to score again we look at 36 and it's a one point jab I'm just going to mark another one here and you can note what the shot is if you want to um, I don't know that it's necessarily necessary. So I didn't do it. Okay, so now we got a 94, which is a pretty high number. But we got a 4 for the defense, which means neither guy is going to defend it with that with that level. Then we, we have an 8 and a 10. So Holmes' control number is actually an 8, but he rolled a 10. So he has control again. And looking at 94 on this chart... It's a two-point stick-and-move combo. And we just continue going this way. Keep going. And this time we get uh, Holmes' control number is a 9, and Shavers is 11. So Shavers is actually going to get control. Defensive roll was a 5, so that means uh, that's higher than Holmes' 3. 69 now on Shavers' card, 69, is a one-point uppercut. We give Shavers one point, and we continue on. As you can see, the game doesn't take very long to, to kind of resolve its results here. So we have a 10 for Holmes and a 12 for Shavers. So that 12 for Shavers is one point over his 11 for control, but the 10 for Holmes is two points over his control number. So again, Holmes has control. The, the 100 number is 77. It's four for defense, so no defense. 77 is a one-point double jab for Holmes. So Holmes is definitely winning this round. And we are almost two-thirds of the way through now. As we roll again. Okay, so now we've got a three for Shavers and a two for Holmes. So we're going to end up on our split action chart this time. So the split action chart, our 100 number is 63, and a 63 on the split action is an even exchange, uh, one point each. Actually, wait, I need to check what this is. So you, lo you look at the two styles, and we have elusive and pressure. So elusive and pressure is normal, and normal 63 is actually a missed exchange. Both fighters block and miss. So we'll just, I'm just going to put an X in both. That means no points for them, just so I know what happened there. Um, split action, no, no scoring. Okay, this time we have a 1. So this one's going to end up on the defended side of the, of the chart here. We have 6, and so 86 is the 100 number, and we have a 9 and a 17. So Shavers actually has control, 
but Holmes is going to defend it. So we're looking at the 89 in the defended side, and that is a one-point combination. So one-point combination for um, shavers. And we continue on. And we got a four this time, so that'll be no defense. And a six and an eight. So eight is... Eight is what uh, Holmes rolled, and that's what he needs. 69 is the number, not defended. 69 is a one-point lunging hook. And we get our final roll of round number one. And we have a 17 to 4 on the control. That was a 4, not a 10. Um, 34 and 5. So the 34, because he lands, is one-point jab. That's going to end the round. We add up our points. Holmes got one, two, three, five, six, seven. And Shaver's got two. Okay, now we have to figure out the judging for it, right? So when we roll for, uh, for judging, we, we look at this chart here, the scoring chart. And on the scoring chart, we lo we're looking for the margin in punch points, and it was seven to two, so that would be in this three to five. And then you got uh, low, E is uh, even, and H is higher, obviously. Um, I don't know what F is. I need to look that up, actually. But let's see what we get. We're going to roll 120-sided die here, and I'll roll the big one, holds die here, and we got a two. So with two... For judge one is L. So he actually gives that round to um, to Shavers. And we'll roll for judge number two. And that's a 17. A 17 is H. So um, I don't know if you're supposed to roll it that way, actually, now that I think about it. I think you just use the one roll. So it's Shavers, Shavers, Holmes. Okay, so the F, F on the scoring chart here refers to favored. Uh, so in this case, the favored fighter would be Larry Holmes. Um, I'm considering this the second of their two fights where Holmes was already the champion and uh, Shavers was uh, basically contending and an underdog. So... We're going to move on to round number two. Now, a couple of notes here on the scoring sheet is I filled this in. So we have our control numbers. The mode was elusive and pressure. Um, their endurances. This is all off the fighter card. Defense, power, chin, and willpower. Their endurances go down based on the mode they fought the previous round in. So Holmes drops from 25 to 23 because elusive costs you two. Uh, Shavers was in pressure, which cost four, so he went from 15 to 11. Now, once we once one of these guys runs out of endurance, they'll start taking uh, losses to some of their other attributes. So we'll get into that uh, as we go along. So right now, all the only thing I changed was their endurance numbers because that is what um, you know, that is what changed. Nothing else changed. So we'll just keep on rolling here. First thing I need to do is it says to check um, if they're in a pressure or a elusive mode. You would automatically check to see if they get um, if they get new new modes. Um, and you would also check in the in like the basic version of the game. You would check to, for the loser of the round, which in this case. Surprisingly, it was Holmes. You would check to see which what what mode they're in. So I'm going to roll for both since you know they these are the somewhat uncommon modes here, and we got a six and an eight. So eight for Holmes leaves him in elusive, and six for Shavers puts him in outside mode. So he's now in outside mode, which will only cost him two endurance points. So this is actually a little bit better for him. And we'll move on to the start of round number two. Okay, so we have a 26, and the, the control numbers were 1 and 11. So Holmes has control. Uh, the defense number was 5, so no defense. And the 
the other the hundred number is 26. So that is a one point long straight punch for Holmes. And we move on and roll again. And this time Shavers is going to have control. He had an 18 to Holmes 9. 1 is the defense, so we're going to be in the defensive column again. And 22 is the number. So that's one A punch. So that's one point for Shavers. And we move on here. And this time we rolled a 5 for defense. Uh, 20 for Holmes for control. So he's got control. The number is 30. So 30 is a K9 A punch. Okay, so K9 means a possible knockdown. Okay, so the K9 A punch. Now each fighter has an A punch and a B punch on their card. Holmes A punch is a straight. Uh, Shaver's A punch by uh, contrast is a hook okay uh, when he knocked Holmes down in their real fight it was a hook that, that he hit him with so this if the number is if their power number and Holmes power number is 5 if this was if it had been higher than 9 or equal to 9 it would have been a potential knockdown since it's not it's just a 2 point punch so that's 2 points for Holmes and we move on to the next phase. No uh, no knockdown check. All right, so six is the defense number. We got a 91 on our 10. The control goes to, uh, actually it's a tie, so we're going to be looking at our split again. Now this time we have elusive and outside, and elusive and outside is chess. So we're in the chess column here, and our number is, uh, nine, is 91. So 91 in the chess column is an even exchange, one point each. So each fighter gets one point. And we move on to our next roll. And this time, control goes to shavers. Uh, it's not stopped, and the number is an 8. So 06 to 09, he gets a one-point hook. So shavers is doing pretty well for himself so far in this fight. This time we get uh, control to neither guy. So we're on the split chart again. The number is 74 under chess. Missed exchange. Both fighters block and mix. Miss, rather. Okay. And then we got a, another split result. This time it's 14. 14 is foul check blue fighter. So we're going to check for a foul against shavers so our foul charts up here we're going to roll a d20 we'll roll we'll roll shavers d20 his foul rating is average so he's in the average column right here we rolled a 10 and a 10 is a mar one point marginal foul so i will mark a minus one i'm going to mark a minus one here to denote that he picked up a foul. And we will roll it. Alright, so we got a two defense. 16 is the number, and control goes to Shavers. Um, actually, no, I'm uh control goes to Holmes by the uh the fact that he's one above his number and Shavers is at his number. So the defense number is two, which means that he's gonna hit. Shavers, whose defense is only a one, and the number is 16, and 16 for Holmes is a one-point cross. Okay, this time we get a 12 and a, and a four, so control, uh, control goes to Shavers. The number's 38, the defense number is six, so that's going to be a hit, and 38 for Shavers is a one-point cross. And that is going to end the round. So we'll add up our points here. Holmes has one, two, four, five. Shavers has zero, one, two, three. So the split is two. The roll is a seven. So one, two, number seven is even, low, high. So judge one gives both guys 10. Judge two has it 10, nine shavers.
Judge 3 has it 10, 9 ohms. And so we now need to adjust. So our endurance for both is going to go down by one. So that's 21 for Holmes, nine for shavers. We go to round three. Uh, 20 and 19. So that's actually going to give Holmes control. Oh, wait, I forgot to check uh, who actually lost. That was an even one. So we're going to keep our same. We're going to keep our same rolls here. So that's fine. So Holmes is in control. 56 is the number. Five is the defensive number, so it's going to be landed. 56 is a one-point jab. Now we have a, seven, a four and a one. So neither guy got it. So we're on a split table, uh, number seven, and we're still in chess. So that's a foul check on the red fighter. So this is a foul check on Holmes. His foul rating is clean. So let's see what we get. We got a three. Incidental contact, no foul. Okay, so we'll just put zeros here. That. Move on. This time it's a four and a six. So again, neither guy has control. The number is 50. And 50 is juke and move. Both fighters jockey for position. I'm just going to do an X in here. Now obviously you can do, um, there's things for ring location and everything as well. That you can do. I'm going with a little bit more basic version here. So our control numbers are 20 and 16. So that's going to favor Holmes. So Holmes has it. The number 60, the defense is 6. 60 is again an A punch. So that's a straight. The 6 is higher than his power. So it's just a two point punch. So two point punch. Holmes has three points in this round. Shavers has yet to score. Okay, so this time uh, Holmes is going to be in control again. He got an 11 to 1 for Shavers. The number is 76. The defense is 5. So 76 is a one point double jab. And he's working. He's working this round, Holmes. Uh, this time 20 and 2. So he again wins control. The number is 26. The defense is 4. 26 is a one straight punch. Long straight punch. Holmes is really what well. he rolled a 20 again. The number's 47, the defense is three, so it's still gonna hit. 47 is a one point hook. So he's not doing a ton of damage, but he's scoring like crazy in this uh, this one. Now he got a 14 and Shaver's got a two. The number is 71, but the defense is a one. So that's gonna be in this on the defended chart and a 71 on the defended chart is a counter punch where he slips and counters. So we roll, when that happens, when you get a counter punch, you roll a 20-sided die. It's a 16. And you look in the... I'm not. I'm sorry, you're not a 20-sided. We roll the 100, the 100 number again. Right. So we got a 56. And you use the fighter's own card. So 56 is a one-point jab for Shavers. So Shavers finally gets one in on slipping that punch and countering with a jab of his own. Uh, 13 to 9, so that is going to be control for Shavers. It's an 86, but it's defended. So an 86 defended is missed and countered. So turnabout is fair play here. We will roll our 100 again and got a 29. So a 29 on Shavers is a one point Straight shot, and that's the bell, end of the third round. So end of the third round, we add up our points. One, two, three, four, six, seven for Holmes. One, four Shavers. So that's a margin of six. So we're over here now. No roll. You can see J1, J2, J3, no roll is H is across. So they all score at 10, 9 for Holmes. And we go two and two again, so 19 and seven. Now we can roll for, um, since Holmes won, if we did the, the basic rule, we would only roll to see what Chavers cha changes to, but um, I'm going to roll for the elusive as well. Um, actually, no, it's inside and it's inside and pressure. That's what it is that you need to roll on. So I'm just going to roll for Shavers. 
see if he changes. He rolled an 18, so he's going back to the pressure mode, which won him round one, technically. And we're going to continue on here. This is also going to drop his endurance to three. I think. So nobody got control. The number is 27. So now that we're back to elusive and pressure, elusive and pressure is normal. So under normal, 27 is clinch. Referees separate the fighters. No scoring. Uh, 16 to 10. Shavers has control. The number is 73, but there's a 2, so that's a defended shot. 73 is a one-point combination. So Shavers does score, but if Holmes' defense didn't block that, that would have been a two-point combination. Okay, uh, 11 and 4. So Shavers gets control again. The number for defense is two, so again, it's going to be on the defended side, and it's 36. So 36 is ducked, so no point for Shavers there. Holmes ducks it. Okay, 60, well, 18 to 15, so that's going to be Holmes. Four is the defensive number. 67 is a one-point lunging hook. So as you can see, the game flows pretty quickly. Uh, 69 is the number, control, 7 and 1. So nobody gets control. So 69 under normal is a mixed exchange. And both fighters block and miss. This time we have 18 and 11. So Holmes is in control. The defense number is 4 and 30 is the number. So 30 is, again, a straight, a K9 straight. It's going to be a two-point shot because Holmes' power is only a Five. This time, uh, Shavers has control. The defense number is five, and the the hit number is going to be twenty eight. So that's going to be a one point cross for Shavers. This round is actually pretty close, with two segments to go. Uh, nineteen. So Holmes has control. Nineteen to six. The defense number is 5 and the scoring number is 39, so another one-point jab for Holmes. Last segment of this round, Shaver's in control. The defense is 2, so it's going to be blocked. And 53 is the number, so 53 is a one-point straight punch for Shaver's. So we get 4 for Holmes and 1, 2, 3 for Shaver's. So 4, 3, and uh, we're on the 1 and 2 point. One two point here. So we're going to roll our 20 sider. We got a five. So a five is going to be HLE. So one gives it to Shavers. 10 9. Two gives it to Holmes. 10 9. And the other one is a tie. 10 10. All right. Now we got a deduct here. So Holmes loses two more. So he's down to 17. Shavers loses four. He's down to three. We haven't had any knockdowns or anything that's going to change any of these numbers yet. But we do need to check both guys for changing their style. So Holmes rolls a 9, which stays elusive. And Shavers rolls an 18, which stays pressure. So no change there. And we're on to round number 5. 16, 14, so that's going to give control to Holmes. The number is 84, and the four, 4 is the defensive number. 84 is a one-point hook. Now we have a 4 and a 20, so Holmes in control. Defense is a 1, though, and the number is 89. So we're looking at 89, one-point grazing jab. So Shaver's defense, not great. But good enough to uh, maybe avoid a two-point shot there. So Shavers is actually uh, 9 and 9. It's a tie. So we're, we're on the split chart again. We're still in normal. The number is 19. And that is a foul check for the blue fighter. So again, Shavers' foul rating is average. He rolled a 16. And, the, and 16 average is a one-point marginal foul. So he loses a point. And we go on. Uh, 18 and 13. So that's going to be Holmes. 
Six is the defensive number, 94. 94 is a two-point stick-and-move combo. So as you would expect, with Holmes being the better fighter, he's actually winning. 17-4, Holmes is still in control. Defense number is three. The number is 95. This time's a two-point long straight punch. Now we have a 16 and a 3, so still Holmes. The number is 0-3, and the defense is uh, a 6, so that's not, not blocked, not defended. Now we have a red here, so it's a 2-point punch, and it may have cut Shaver. So now we have to check his cut, and that's on this chart right here. We roll a 20-sided die. We look for his cut rating, which is a 4. So his cut rating is a 4. He needs an 11 or lower. I mean, I'm sorry, an 11 or higher to avoid being cut. No. Uh, yes, 11 or higher. He rolled an 18, so he is not cut. Not cut, and we move on. That was another two-point shot for Holmes as he is dominating this round and he has control again this one will be defended the number is 77 that is a one point for Holmes but it's also countered so we're going to roll our 100 again and we got a 54 on Holmes chart I think I used the wrong chart there I did use the wrong chart there so 77 on Holmes' chart is actually just a one-point double jab, but it was defended, so that's going to be zero missed short. So I read off the wrong card there. We'll move on. Uh, Shavers has control. Defense is a six. The number is 27. That's a one-point combination. And last one... Uh, Shavers has control. Defense is four, so not defended. The number is 63. 63 is, oh, we might have a knockdown. His power number is 11. This is a K5A punch. So this is a hook that lands for power. Okay. So when you land for power, so we have to make a chin check. So we check Holmes' chin rating is a nine. So the chin chart is um, right here. Knockdown check versus a chin check. Okay, so KD, and we're gonna roll here. And so again, it needs to be a zero one to a zero three. And it is a 49, so he's not knocked down. Not knocked down. So if there's no knockdown, then it's just a, uh, it's a four-point hit, I believe. Or six-point shot. That's a six-point shot right at the bell for Shavers. So Shavers with the late power shot actually kind of recovered that round for him. So he's going to end up with six because these two cancel out. And Holmes had six, seven, eight. So eight, six. Holmes still wins the round, but he's in the two, one, two column now. And so we roll our 20. We rolled a 15 in the 1 2 column is favorite, favorite, high. So that's going to be all homes. So 10 9, 10 9, 10 9, and we move on. So we'll roll our 20s to determine if either guy changes styles. Uh, 18 for homes. That's going to be pressure. So homes is going to go to pressure now. And five for shavers is actually outside. Now the other thing is we have to drop the, we have to remove two points for Holmes. So he's at 15 and shavers is now at zero. So he's at zero and we have to handle his uh, endurance and we have to knock off some of his, we have to make adjustments to his ratings. So the way this works is we check our fatigue chart here and you can see we have an endurance column zero through 35, negative 35. So Shavers went into that round with three. He's now at negative one. So he's going to be right here and we're going to roll our 
Um, actually, we don't roll. We just adjust. So he's going to add one to his control number. So that is now going to become a uh, nine. He's going to lose one point of defense, which may, makes that a zero. And power drain is a one-time adjustment when it reaches zero. So his normal power is an 11. It goes down to a seven. So his power will be at seven for the remainder of the fight. And his chin and his will do not change. So we're going to pick up here in round number six. All right. So control number is 15. Shavers has control. The defense is three. That's blocked by or defended by Holmes. The number is 92. That's a, a one-point combination to the head. So we're going to put a... Um, Oops, I wrote those in the wrong I wrote those on the wrong line. <laughs> so that's a one point for shavers. This should be seven, zero, and nine. Since he's only he's only gonna go down to minus three, so he won't be at minus five yet anyway. Alright, so nine and ten. So that's actually going to be a tie, and we go to the split. 65 is the number. We have pressure and outside. Pressure and outside is normal. So normal 69 or 65 rather is juke and move. Both fighters move jockey for position. No point score. Okay, this time we have a 16 and a 9. 16 for, for Holmes gives him control. The defense is 2. We don't even need to check defense when it's Shavers. His, his defense is now a 0. Everything is going to hit. 39 is the number. 39 is a one-point cross for Holmes. This time we have uh, eight and a six. So uh, neither guy, we're on the split chart again. 55 in the normal is juke and move, both fighters jockey for position. This time we get a 15 for Shavers and a two for Holmes. That's control for Shavers. Defense is four, so it's not defended. 99 is the number. 99 is a two-point hook for Shavers. This time we get a 16 and a 7. Shavers still in control with the 16. The 4 is higher than Holmes' de defense, so the 12 is a K10B punch. Now, if he hadn't been uh, fatigued, this would actually be a potential knockdown. As it is, it is just a two-point Uppercut. Now we get uh, another uh, split action. 29 is clinch. Let us see in there. This time we have a 14 for shavers and a 7 for Holmes. So shavers in control. The defense numbers are 3. So, sh so Holmes defends it and it's 28. 28 is zero dodged. So no scoring there for Shavers, although he is winning this round. And seven and six, again on the split, the number is seven. That's foul check, red fighter. So we're going to check Holmes. He is a cl uh, clean fighter. We rolled a 15. 15 for the clean is a one point marginal foul. So he's actually going to get a foul. And that is the end of the round. And Holmes actually got zero points that round because of the foul, while Shavers got five. So Shavers wins round six by five. So we're in this column here. Number is 10, HHF. So we're going to have a 10-9 Shavers, a 10-9 Shavers, and a 10-9 for Holmes because he's the favorite. And we are on to round seven. No adjustments needed. Um... We go to minus three for shavers and minus and eleven rather for holes. Uh, style change twenty and nineteen stays pressure goes to pressure. So both fighters are now on the pressure card. This is going to push shavers past uh, the next level of fatigue. So control numbers are ten and nine. So that is going to give control to Holmes because he has 10. And 45 is a one-point combination. Then we 
have a 13 and a 4. So this is Shaver's control. Defense's number is a 5. It's a 92. That's a K2 uppercut. So again, we have a potential knockdown for Shavers. And we're going to roll on the chin number for, for Larry Holmes, which is a 9. We're going to roll our 100 number and get a 66, not a knockdown, just a 6-point score, scoring sequence for Shavers. Now we rolled an 8 and a 1, so we're back. Actually, no, 8 would give control to Holmes, so the number is 12. K-10A punch, again, his power is only a five, not a knockdown punch, just a two-point punch. Uh, six and three, so that's on the split again. 16 is the number. This is a foul check on Shavers. He's average. So with a two on average is incidental, no foul. So zeros for both gentlemen in that particular sequence. 17 to 7. So Shavers has control. Defense number 6 and 76 is the number. So that's going to be a two-point combination for Shavers, who looks like he's going to win this round. He's well on his way. Okay, so we got 74, 10, and 7. So Shavers got, gets control. But it's on the defended side, 74. So he gets a point, but it's countered. And we roll our 100 number. And got a 63. And that's a K5 A punch. So Holmes might knock him down on the counter. All right. So now we have to check the chin number for Ernie Shavers. His chin is a 5. So he's in, he's in this column here. So a 1 to 20 will knock him down. So we will roll, let me take these other dice out so I get a nice clean roll. 27, and he missed, he barely missed getting knocked down, but that is a six point sequence for Holmes. And now this has become a very close round. Uh, five and four, so we're on the split chart. 84 under normal is even exchange, one point each. 17 and 1. So Holmes in control. 23 is the number. Another K9, but B punch. So a B punch is um, a jab, and it's a two-point punch. So that's going to give Holmes 9, 11, 12 points that round, and 1, 2, 4, 10 points for shavers a lot of action in the seventh there and so a two point margin we roll we're rolling against we rolled a nine that is favorite low high so basically a split but the favorite is home so he gets that one he gets judge one and three shavers gets judge two we're going to roll to see if they change up from pressure Shavers rolled a 14, stays pressure. Holmes rolled a 12, goes to outside. Okay, so both guys are going to lose four points in fatigue here. So Holmes is down to seven, and Shavers is at minus seven. So now we have to adjust Shavers again, because now we're in the minus five range. He's going to lose one on his chin and his will. So his chin is going to become a four, and his will is going to become a four. And we're going to move on to uh, round number eight. All right. Control 16 to 7 goes to home. 61 is the number. 61 here is a K5 A punch. So, again, a straight possible knockdown. We know we need a 0 to... Actually, he's now a 4. So, a 0 to 30. 0, 1 to 30 knocks down Shavers. He rolls a 38. So barely avoids it again, but that is a six-point sequence for Mr. Holmes. We roll. Oh, you know what? I was missing missing this out here. That's, I've been doing this wrong, and I just realized it. When you roll this number, whatever number you get tells you how many points you scored. So that would actually be a four-point shot. And boy, do I feel stupid, but that's a four-point shot. I totally... <laughs> 
I totally forgot about that. Then you have to look at these other numbers. All right, so going forward, that was a four-point sequence. Uh, three and one split again, so 46, but we're outside and pressure. So outside and pressure is normal. So 40, uh, what is it, 43 in normal is juke and move, both fighters, so no scoring. Uh, 19 to 2, so Holmes in control, 39 is the number. That's a one-point cross. This time, Holmes gets a 20, and it's a 2 for Shavers. 22 is the number. We get another K possibility, um, but it's just a two-point hit because the K number is a 9. 18-16, so that's still going to favor uh, Larry Holmes. 95 is the number. That's a two-point hook. Holmes is really laying the wood to him in this round, so far. Uh, 7 and 17. Shaver's in control. Defense is 6, not defended, so 30 is the number. K8, double hook. Again, his power is down to a 7, so he just missed that one. That's going to be a two-point hit for him. And we move on. 17-19. So, um, again, because there's a two-point difference between the two, the 19 for Shavers and the 17 for Holmes are both the same distance from their control numbers. So it's a split, and it's a 27. So 27 under normal is a clinch. No score. Okay, this time we get a 15 for Holmes and a 4 for Shavers. 6 defense, 31. So a 31 is again an A, a punch, so a straight 2 point because it's a K8, which is above his power number. 13 for Holmes, 5 for Shavers, so 25 is the number. That's a 1 point combination to end the round. 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 12 for Holmes. And two for shavers. That's a massive uh, six to eleven. We don't have to roll. It is just all uh, all the high number, which is home. So ten nine, ten nine, ten nine. On to round number nine. Oops, I forgot to roll this. One. And I need to check for uh, whether he changes out. So he rolled a two. So he's going to change out to outside as well. So he's now outside. I also needed to adjust. So he loses four more. He's down to minus 11, which means I have to adjust him as well. Holmes lost two, so he's down to five. So at minus 10, he gets another one added to his control number. And he also loses one more to his power. So his power goes down to a six. So now we're rolling. Both guys are on the outside. So outside, outside would be chess here if we roll split. Okay, so let's see. Uh, 12 and 12, but Holmes gets the advantage because he's got his CTN is one number higher. So 37 is a one point cross for Holmes. Maybe we'll just do a 10 round fight because it's getting long and I know people don't watch the whole video when it gets really long. 17, 16, this time it's a tie. So 32 is our number and we're in the, the chess column. Juke and move, both fighters move for jockey for position. Nothing going on there. This time we get a two and a, a nine. So uh, that's again, both below. So it's another split. 62 is our number. Under chess, 62 is again, juke and move. Not a whole lot of action going on here in round number nine. This time we get uh, an eight and an 18. So Holmes in control. The 59 is the number. We don't need to check defense. It was a two anyway. So 59 is a one point cross for Holmes. Uh, let's see. Six and three. So again, we're on the split. 93. Even exchange. One point each. Uh, 14 and 2, so Shaver's in control, 94, 3, however, so it's defended. 
The 94 is a one point combination to the head. So it's one point for shavers. Um, so we've got a three and a four and an 18 uh, is a foul check on the blue fighter. So we're checking Mr. Shavers and his number, that's an 18 and an 18 for an average is actually a flagrant foul. That's going to cost him two points, which is both points he has in this round. And we're going to move on. So he's got two, three. He's got three foul points. And Holmes, oh wait, that's backwards. He's got three, Holmes has one. Uh, two, they're both under, so we're going to the split again. 74, missed exchange, both fighters block and miss. Okay, the last sequence here. Uh, 99, so actually neither guy has control. 66 is the number. Juke can move both fighters jockey for position. So that was a pretty uneventful round, but it's 3 nothing home. So he's rolling in the 3 to 5 column here. And he rolled a 4. So 4 in the 3 to 5 is LHH. So judge 1 says Shavers, judge 2 and judge 3 say Holmes. We'll do the 10th round. I think this will be our last round. We're coming up on an hour. Probably long enough. All right. So for style changes, um, we'll look at four. So outside. So he's going to, they're both, they would both stay. Actually, Holmes would go to elusive, but Holmes doesn't need to change when he's on outside already. So they're both on outside. Uh, 3 and 19. Shaver's in control. The defense number's 1, so it's going to be defended. 65. 65 defended is just missed. So Shaver's misses. This time, both fighters... Uh, actually, Shaver's has... I mean, Holmes has control. 53 is the number. That's going to be... Oh, wait, I forgot to remove two points from each guy. So it's 3 and minus 13. So no change there. Um, so we have Holmes in control. 53 is the number. 53 is a one-point jab. Holmes is gone. Uh, actually, Shaver's in control. 45 is the number, but three means it's defended. So it's going to be zero ducked. So Holmes ducks out of the way. No score there for Shaver. Shavers is going to be in control again. The defense number is a five, so it's, it's going to land. 52 is a K6 cross. His, D, his power is a six, so he does have a shot here. Again, Holmes' chin is a very durable nine, so we need to roll a zero, one through zero, three for this to actually knock him down. 66 is the number, so 66 versus a nine chin is a two-point hit. And we move on. Uh, Shavers has control. Three defense, so it's going to be defended. 54 is the number. 54 is going to be blocked. Holmes is flashing the defensive skills this round. So 11 and 14, that's going to give the control to Shavers. 94, but again, it's a three, so it's going to be defended. 94 is... A one combination head. And this time, Shaver's in control. Zero one is the number, actually. And the defensive number is six. So this is a possible uh, cut. It's a one point hit, possible cut. So we're going to check Holmes' cut number. 
Holmes cut number is an eight. So we have to roll on that. And we needed a two or lower and it was a three. So it was close, but he's not cut. So we're gonna move on here. Uh, we've got two segments left in the fight. 1815, control, two shavers, 44 is the number, but it's defended. So that's going to be another duct. And last sequence. 15 and 20, uh, 15 and six rather. 28 is the number, four is defense, so not blocked. 28 for shavers is going to be a one point straight. So one, two, three, five for shavers and one for homes in that round. So we're rolling for uh, shavers here on the three to five line. A four goes low, high, high. So Holmes gets the nod from Judge One. Judge One's been pretty contrary in this fight. The other two vote or score it 10 9 shavers. We're going to add it up now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, there, six plus uh, four times nine is 36. So that's 96 for Judge One for Holmes. 29, 39, 48, 58, 67, 76, 86, 95. So 96, 95 for Judge 1 in favor of Holmes. 18, 28, 38, 48, 57, 66, 76, 86, 95 for Holmes on Judge 2's card. Then 20, uh, 29, 38, 47, 57, 67, 76, 85, 95. We have a tie on Judge 2's card. Judge 3 has it heavy, Holmes. 10, 20. So we got 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, 99 on Judge 3. And uh, 27, 37, 46, 55, 64, 73, 82, 92. 99, 92. So it's Holmes in a split decision. So Holmes wins the fight in a split decision. I only went 10 rounds because of how long the video was. We're, we're at an hour. Uh, I figured it, you've got the, you got the gist of how the game plays. Um, it's a good game. I enjoy it. Uh, probably would flow a lot faster if I weren't yapping as I'm do doing it. Um, I'm sure I made some mistakes. I know I had screwed up the knockdown points there. I was giving them six points when that only happens on a knockdown, basically. So, um, yeah, so that I definitely screwed up. I think most of the rest of it I might have been okay on. Um, but, yeah, it's a, it's a fairly straightforward game. Flows well. Uh, you roll some dice, everything pretty much happens on one die roll. Occasionally you have your second die roll, but in general, uh, pretty pretty good. Uh, you get the feeling that Holmes was the better fighter, obviously, and that came came through ultimately in the end, although it was fairly close. Um, if I added up the points, actually, 7, 12, 19, 23, uh, 31, 43, 55, 58, 59. So 59 for Holmes. We'll put 59 here. And Shavers had 2, 5, 6, 9, 15, 20, 30, 32, 37. So 59, 37 in points uh, scored. But the judges had it 96, 95, 95, 95, and 99, 92. For Holmes, who wins and retains his belt. So, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Um, if you've made it all the way through, congratulations, and, uh, and I appreciate it. I appreciate you sticking with me here. Um, as always, I appreciate you watching. Please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, if you would. I would greatly appreciate it. But for now, I'm going to wrap this up and just say, I am Joe, this is Hexed Encountered, and until next time, happy gaming.